Hi, it's Professor Rebecca Stevens here, and I'm demonstrating Independent Challenge 1 in the Vodnik text on page 22. I'm going to go ahead and start with A, open a new document in your text editor. Okay, my text editor is Notepad. I'm going to be using Notepad at home and in the school lab because I'm using a PC. And Notepad is the text editor that comes free with the Windows operating system. I go to my Windows Start menu. And I open up my Windows 10 Start menu, and you'll see that um, I actually have Notepad here, which I can open straight away. But let's just say that it's not one of my most used, and where would I go to find it? I would left-click on All Apps, and in the menu that opens up, I would scroll down to Windows Accessories, and I would open Windows Accessories. Here's all the things that come with the Windows Accessories. One of them is Notepad. I can left click on Notepad and open up a new Notepad document. Now I want to create a doc type declaration. So I'm going to use the left bracket and then I'm going to put the exclamation mark. The exclamation mark is a comment which tells the browser not to process this line. I'm going to call this a doc type HTML. Next I'm going to create my HTML tags. Anytime you have a beginning, you should have an end right away so that you don't forget to make the opening and closing uh, when you're um, at done with that particular block of, of work. So C, within the HTML element, type head and close head. After the head tags, type body and close body. All right, and here you can see this is essentially the structure of an HTML document. It has the opening and closing HTML, the opening and closing head, and the opening and closing body. Uh, now we're going to save the file as an index.html. So we go to File, Save As. This is the first time we're saving it. And on the desktop, I want to make a new folder. And my new folder is going to be called Unit A IC1. Unit A IC1. And I'm just going to put page 22 because that's how we're identifying them. And then change my text documents to all files and I'm going to give it the name index.html and once the unit A IC1 page 22 doc folder is open and my index.html shows up under all files I'm going to choose save and I just save the document F within the head section add a title element And the title element is going to say Spodgren Garden Center. Okay. And this is the title of my entire page. So you'll see at the top, this is the very top of the page. Almost uh, not on the page, but above on the, the heading, very top heading of the page. And G, within the body section, add a H1 element. And the H1 element is spotted wing garden center. Below the H1 element, within the body section, enter a P element, P. With the text for your year-round 
garlic and red meat with a focus on the unusual and hard to find. Okay, I'm gonna close that pan. Small pan. Okay. And one more pan. Another line. So now we have two lines. One that says for your year-round garden and yard needs with a focus on the unusual and hard to find. And the next is a phone number. 402-555-5555. And we close this P, close. So two paragraphs and a heading in the body or the main page. And within the head section, we're going to add a comment. And the comment is going to read. Bonnegrin Garden Center, name, web page, um, file name, and Notepad++ will do the spacing for us. Right now, since I'm in Notepad, I'm spacing myself. Try and give it some structure. Save your work, file, save, and then open index.html from the IC1 folder. All right, so we can close this. And then in the unit A IC1 folder, which is right here, I'm going to open it. And then I have this index.html file. You can see here the type is HTML. I'm going to left click, two left clicks to open it. And when it opens in Firefox, it should come up. Okay, so why is it not opening? If I go to my index and I edit with Notepad, you'll see that what I was missing was the closing comment. And when I add the closing comment, now Notepad will show me that everything is lined up correctly and opened and closed correctly. And I can save this, file save, and then I can close my document. If I two left click on it, I can get it to open up correctly. And this is what I want to submit. This is Independent Challenge 1, a very basic website. You can see the title. This is the title up here of the website. This is the heading of the website. This is the first paragraph. And this is the second paragraph. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to my class. I'm going to click on Class Activities. I'm going to open up IC1 P22. I'm going to go and I'm going to browse my computer. I'm going to open on index and I'm going to submit. And there it is. Now mine doesn't go in because I'm logged in as a faculty, but yours will go in since you're logged in as a student. I'm going to close that. I'm going to close that. Unit A, I see one, page 22. These are the folders that I have created and I'm going to make a new folder uh, for all of the NCLC 345 activities and I'll just start collecting them here in this folder. Each week I'll just work on this folder. Okay. 
and there we go. There's our our beginning uh, work. <laughs>